I'm going to start drawing from right view. And make sure to work on parallel projection by clicking this drop down arrow and select parallel. Type C for circle. Specify center point of circle. Type D for diameter option and enter 40. And the units we're using is in millimeters. C again for circle. Locate center. Type D for diameter option and enter 31. Which is this one here. And there's another circle here. And the detail is here for the tooth. And the diameter for that is 36. So C again for circle. Look at center. Type D for diameter option and enter 36. Draw a line. So L for line command. Enter from quadrant to quadrant. Now I'm going to draw a guide. So L for line. Quadrant to your left. 4.58. And bring it down. Make sure it's straight. Just click it anywhere here. And enter. Same process here. From quadrant to your left. For 1.57 units. And bring your cursor downward. Click here. Repeat line. Quadrant. Move to your left for 2.07. Bring your cursor downward and click. Now I'm going to trim this portion that's sticking out. So TR for trim command, enter twice. Just remove that, remove this one, and remove that, enter. Now I'm going to draw a curve using three-point arc. So go to the draw panel, click this uh, drop-down arrow and select three point and just click this uh, in point, this in point here, this in point. Now I can erase the guides, delete that. Apply trim command, so TR for trim command, enter twice. Click that, click this one, and click this one. I can also remove that. Now, MI for mirror command. Specify first point of mirror line, click that in point. To in point, and select no. You can erase that. Now join the segments by typing J for join command, enter, and just window the whole thing. Now this is one object. I'm going to redraw that circle, which is the, the one with 31 units. So C for circle, and shift right click, and select center, hover over the curve, and you can see that green circle. And just snap that uh, in point. Now I'm going to extrude this tooth for 15 units, which is um, shown here. So extrude command inside the modeling panel. Select the tooth and extrude it here or towards that direction for 15. Now apply chamfer which is this one here. Go to solid, select chamfer edge inside the solid editing panel and go down to the command prompt and click distance. Enter one for first distance. Enter one again for second distance. And enter twice. I'm going to create 18 tooth 
and it's easier to bring this to right view and type array polar select the object enter and specify center point of array click that center and go back to the ribbon and enter 18 enter and enter again I'm just gonna turn off the grid now extrude this circle for 15 units you can enter 15 or just snap this um, in point here and now combine the segments or the objects select union command inside the solid editing panel and just uh, window the whole thing now this is one object the next thing to do is uh, create this portion here and the diameter for that is 23 units and the distance or the depth is 18 so C for circle before we proceed go down to the status bar and make sure your dynamic input is on polar tracking object snap tracking object snap selection cycling 3d object snap and dynamic UCS C for circle again and just hover over the face of this uh, object and you can see that blue color just snap and enter D for diameter option and enter 23 extrude this one for 18 units and the next circle or the cylinder here so th this portion here uh, is the diameter is 15 shown here and extrude that up to this uh, point here which is 16 this one here C for circle click that blue color type D for diameter option and enter 15 highlight that circle extrude for 16 units C for circle again center and just snap that quadrant select that circle and extrude it for another 16 units all right the next thing to do is apply chamfer which is this one here with a 30 degree angle and since solid uh, chamfer edge um, has no angle option I'm gonna create a triangle so right view front there you go change this to 2d wireframe I'm gonna create this triangle so L for line shift right click and select quadrant and bring your cursor downward for right here 1.5 which is this one here go L for line shift right click click quadrant bring your cursor downward for 1.5 and bring it to the left or second quadrant so this is uh, first quadrant here 90 degree here and bring it here to create um, 90 degree no 30 degree angle so since this one is 90 plus 30 is uh, 120 so press tab key and select 120 degree line from quadrant or endpoint and just click that intersection trim so tr for trim command enter twice and click that i'm going to join the segments by typing j for join command enter and just select the segments now this is one object now revolve this triangle so go to home click this drop down arrow inside the modeling panel and select revolve or type rev and select the object that you want to revolve enter and specify axis start point or define axis by 
So select this uh, center and uh, create a straight line up to here. Won't matter as long as it's straight or snap that uh, center of that circle and complete the revolution by typing 360 degrees. I'm going to show you X-ray. Now use subtract command from the solid editing panel. Click the object you want to keep, right click and select the object you want to subtract. Oops, again. Right click and select this one here. That one. All right. So what I'm trying to achieve here, I'm going to show you the model, is this um, this edge here. All right, so I'm going to bring this now to right view. And select polygon inside the draw panel. Enter 4 for the number of sides. We're going to create a cube. And specify center point of polygon. So snap that center. And circumscribe about circle. So this is the circle that we need. So just snap the quadrant. Now I'm going to rotate this cube. Not cube, square. So RO for rotate. Click this square, right click to enter and specify this point. So snap that um, center and just rotate this around or and then enter 45 degree. So this is our square, extrude this one. So go back to the modeling panel and select extrude command and just snap that um, quadrant. I'm going to show you by showing shaded with edges. And then inside the solid editing panel, select intersect. Click this one and click this object and enter. Now I'm going to create this one here, this side here. So I'm going to draw another circle. Look at center, snap that blue color, and then enter D for diameter option and enter 23. And the thickness for that is this one here, 14. Extrude and enter 14. Another circle, so C for circle. Click the center of the face, type D for diameter option and enter 15. And extrude this one for 13 units. So grab that circle, extrude, and enter 15 units. The next thing to draw is the countersink. So this is the one here, this hole here. So I'm going to bring this drawing to front view. And this is the detail for countersink hole. So I'm just going to draw somewhere here. Maybe change this one for 2D wireframe first. Line. From this corner to this corner is 4.25. So enter 4.25. And the distance from this point to this point is 1.95. So I'm just going to draw a line from midpoint and enter 1.95. And the length for this line here from this point to this point is 2. So draw a line. One, one unit here. I'm just going to copy this one. And the distance from here to here is 1.8. So I'm just going to join this one here, this two. And offset it for, all for offset, and enter 1.8. And another line 
from midpoint to your right for 1.5. line again from here to here this one here and this one another line midpoint to midpoint trim so tr for trim command enter twice and just remove that remove this one delete join the segments by typing j for join command and just select the whole thing now i'm going to revolve this one Select Revolve from Modeling Panel, select the object, enter, specify axis start point from this in point to this in point, and enter 360 degrees. Wait, it's not straight. See this, uh, there's a hole here. So I'm just going to bring it back. All right, so REV for revolve command. Select the object that you want to revolve. Enter. Select that in point to in point. And enter 360 degrees. Let me check. Now that's better. I'm going to change this to shaded with edges. All right, so I'm going to bring this to front view. I'm going to mirror this one. So, MI for mirror command. Select the object you want to mirror. Click anywhere here or here, water. And just move it um, straight line and select no. Now, I'm going to move this one here. Move and click that, uh, snap that center of the face. Attach it to this um, face here on the center and uh, move this one from center of this face to the center of this face here. And I'm going to change this to X-ray so you could see what happened inside. All right. So now I'm going to use subtract command, click the object you want to keep, right click and select the object you want to subtract. There you go. Same process here, subtract command, click the object you want to keep, right click and select the object you want to subtract. All right. Now I'm going to apply fillet and the radius for that is 3. So go to solid, select, uh, click this drop down arrow and select fillet edge. Go down to the command prompt, click radius option and enter 3. Oh, well, first I have to combine the whole thing. So union command and just window the whole thing. Now this is one object. So fillet edge, radius, enter 3. Enter, click this edge, and click this edge, and enter twice. I'm just going to change this to realistic. What else? Did I miss something? Oh, this edge here, I have to apply chamfer, and it's uh, one by one, so it's easy to just use chamfer edge. Distance. Enter 1, another distance is 1, and click this edge here. Enter twice. I'm just going to apply materials, so type materials. I'm going to minimize this one. Maximize my screen or window. And inside the metal, I'm going to use, I'll try rust light or maybe now 
I'm gonna use another one metallic paint and use flake reflective beige that looks better I'm gonna adjust the exposure setting so go to uh, visualize just uh, click light and um, there you go I think I'm done so thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and uh, and bell icon to get notified and see you again